Hi, this is Jenny from the lab and on this video I'm going to talk about the microscopic evaluation of the semen analysis and by microscopic I mean what the naked eye can see. So, let's go! Have you ever read a semen analysis report and seen the words oligozospermia, astenozospermia, teratozospermia? I swear these are not made of words, but what do they mean? Before we start the semen assessment, we have to mix well the sample for it to be representative, around 6 to 10 times. And then we place a drop on the counting chamber. And we proceed to perform the sperm concentration. The sperm concentration is a measurement that indicates how many millions of sperm cells are present per milliliter of semen. And we use the term oligothospermia when there's less than 15 million sperm cells per milliliter of semen, like in this video. And now you can compare how a sample with less than 15 million sperm cells per milliliter looks like beside a sample with more than 15 million. To assess the sperm motility, we use the same counting chamber. And there are three types of sperm motility, progressive, non-progressive, and immotile. Progressive motility refers to sperm that are swimming in straight lines or in very large circles. As you can see in this video, most of the motile sperm cells are swimming in straight lines. Non-progressive refers to sperm that move but don't progress. Some of them actually look like maracas. And the others just move in tiny little circles. I actually feel dizzy. An immortal refers to sperm that do not move at all, they're just quiet. And we use the term astenozospermia when there's less than 32% of progressive sperm cells, like in this video. To assess the sperm morphology, we use pristine slides, where we just have to put a drop of the sample. And then we have a look at it under the microscope. A normal sperm cell consists of an oval head shape, a slender midpiece that is aligned with the sperm head, and a tail that has a uniform caliber along its length and also thinner than the midpiece. So, when we assess the sperm morphology, we are looking at these three parts of the sperm cells to see if there's any defects. Which are the head defects? Some of the head defects are different head shapes, as you can see in this drawing. And now, on me. Did you know that sperm cells can also have two heads? Hello! Which midpiece defects can we find? We can find a bent neck, an asymmetrical insertion to the head, a thick insertion, or a thin insertion. Which tail defects can we find? We can find short, bent, and coiled tails. And did you know that sperm cells can also have two tails? And we use the term teratozospermia when there's less than 4% of normal forms.